Hello and welcome to everyone who's joining us tonight for our musical celebration of the life of Andrew Doig. Now, had we all been together in Edinburgh, which would have been lovely, I could have seen you all. Um, but equally, now that we're here online, it does mean that you could be joining us from wherever it is in the world. So I'd like to extend a really warm welcome to you from wherever you are. Andrew was a great friend of Edinburgh Napier and a valued and respected colleague uh, with a connection to us spanning over 40 years. So today we're here to celebrate his life, his work with the university, and importantly, to say an enormous welcome and thank you to his family, who continue to support Andrew's connection and work with the university by encouraging us through the generous bequest that Andrew left to Napier. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to Michael Carris, who's a lecturer here at Edinburgh Napier and an organist, the organist and master of music at St. Giles Cathedral. And he put together tonight's programme. Now, as is befitting, tonight's thank you is a vocal one, bringing together students and alumni in a socially distanced, con socially distanced concert, which I'm really very much looking forward to. Now, given the, Edinburgh, uh, the weather in Edinburgh so far today, um, I would have said that the sun is well over the yard arm, so please do charge a glass, and through the concert that you're about to hear, every so often raise a toast to Andrew Doig. Um, but before we hear the choir, Hafta Medbo, who's our head of screen and media, is going to catch up with Michael and just get a little bit of understanding um, around how he's put together a programme in the middle of what has been a global pandemic. So enjoy, welcome, and over to after. Hi, Michael. Um, I thought it would be nice for, for the audience to know just a little bit more about how this project came together, um, because we dreamt it up, I think, back at back at Christmas, and um, and it's been quite a, it's been quite an undertaking, um, not least because of the circumstances that we find ourselves in with, with social distancing. Um, so I think one thing that I'd like to know is, is how you went about choosing the repertoire for the performance? Well, we chose these three pieces um, by uh, Mishkinis, uh, Olegio and uh, Bob Chilcott because A, they're the sort of repertoire we enjoy singing uh, as a, a choir when we can sing together, um, but uh, B, uh, because they have themes of um, loss, they have themes of, of longing for being reunited, um, they uh, give us a sort of the, the middle one early geo northern lights uh, is is very much about the sort of northern hemisphere um but we have um also uh, the uh, had to make choices based on what was possible uh, to do in this sort of remote recording setup um and complicated textures don't really work but these three pieces i think uh, give us uh, some really enjoyable music um, which was going to be doable by a, a very dispersed group of people. And and and, and the people in, in in the choir, I believe it's it's an expanded choir. It's 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 um you've you've found alumni from from all over the world. Um, and I just I just wondered how you, how you how you reached out to them. Yes, well, in addition to the members of the of the current choir who took part, we also uh, did uh, co contact in the first instance some some of the. Uh, singing students uh, and members of the chamber choir from uh, Andrews uh, last year's 10 years ago um, and uh, put out a call to them to see who was uh, interested in taking part and many of them then contacted their contacts and so it's it spread uh, further and we we ended up with about uh, 14 alumni from as you say across the world um, from the United States, uh, from uh, Germany, Malta, um, and uh, from this country, of course, as well, um, many of whom are uh, in the singing profession themselves, either as professors or as professional singers. Um, and so it's a great tribute to sort of uh, to Andrew that um, we have this this legacy in in those performers, and it's great to have them back with us, even if only virtually. And a, a final question. I mean, I've obviously had a sneak preview of, of, of what's what's going to follow, and um, and I'm just impressed with the, the the level of intimacy that's been created in, in 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 how it's been filmed and edited, and and it's incredible what what we've learned during this pandemic. You know, learned how to do uh, the new tricks that we can do, um, and. So can can you tell us a little bit about the process? I mean, does it start with a conductor track? I I I couldn't 
I couldn't see how it was made. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we would hope. Um, but but um, yes, it does. It starts with me conducting into thin air, basically, and um, filming it um, with a, a backing track, which is effectively a, a basic accompaniment for the singers to sing to. Um, and that being sent out to all the singers, uh, along with the scores, um, to, so that they send in their tracks. And then those uh, video tracks, uh, which of course is basically on everybody's mobile phones, um, uh, come into come come back to us, and we were you know hugely indebted to uh, Andrew Carvel, another of our alumni who uh, is from that sort of generation at the end of Andrew's time, um, who put it um, all together um, and has brought the whole thing to fruition. And all the special effects are very much his. Um, and the sort of things that people doing this have really learnt during this last year as to what you can do, and it's been remarkably effective. Well, I think uh, we should get on to the, the main act, and um, I'd, I'd just like to echo Diane's uh, welcome to Andrew's family and, and also to, to all of the people tuning in from around the globe, we hope, um, and, and, uh, and I'm sure that you'll enjoy the, 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 the performance every bit as much as I did in preview. Hello, and welcome to this virtual concert by members and alumni of Edinburgh Napier Chamber Choir. 2021 marks the 10th anniversary of the sad death of Andrew Doig, who was lecturer in voice at Napier for many years, and who had a profound influence on those whom he taught. To mark this, we have brought together former members of the Chamber Choir who were his students in uh, the final years of his time at the university to join with a number of current members to make this production. Lockdown has had a profound effect on the world of music, but technology has also meant that we can involve a wide range of people in this virtual production. Normally at this time of year, uh, we would, with the Chamber Choir, have been giving our final concert of the season here in St. Giles Cathedral. Many of the former students you will see here um, are professional musicians and are now working across the world. A true tribute to the inspired teaching which Andrew gave them. Thank you. 